Hey, hey, Edwin, how are you? Hi, teacher. Hi, 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 teacher. I'm ready for the independence for tomorrow. <laughs> that's good. That's good. To celebrate. To celebrate. <laughs> are you going to go to the to the marches or are you going to go to the protest or to the uh, parades? Nah, I stay home. I stay <laughs> home. This is my maybe my mother. Oh, I stay home uh, making some carne asada. <laughs> and uh, mojitos. <laughs> mojitos. Mojitos and maybe a couple beers. <laughs> hey, hey, good idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So tomorrow you don't have to work. No, I think it's everybody's up. I'm not sure. I, 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 I think some people work. I don't know. Helio, do you work tomorrow? Because Helio's a driver like you, right, Edwin? Yeah, but they, they give me up to everybody. Okay. And Helio, do you have to work tomorrow? Tomorrow? No, I won't. Okay. Uh, because tomorrow is holiday. That's why I, 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 I go to rest tomorrow. Okay. Yeah. yeah. What about you? Uh, no, I, I don't have to work tomorrow either. I oh, told me that tomorrow is his day. He's going to rest. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I think he's going to he's so going my, to take a, my, a little, a little, teacher. little rest for, for yeah, for Hello, uh, at least for one day. Mm -hmm. Yes, Hello, yes. You see my my shirt, my shirt. <laughs> oh, yeah, that, that, that's that's wonderful. Yeah, yeah that's yeah, nice. Yeah. yeah, that's good. Yeah, you yeah. you gotta be proud of that. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. You gotta be proud. Yeah, mm -hmm. I like like that those kind of shirt. Yeah. Yeah. This is, this is brand new, isn't it? Yeah, it's new. It's yeah. Green, uh, huh? when, when did you buy it? Um, I don't know. My my lover gave it to me. <laughs> oh really? Oh, okay. Uh -huh. Hey, hey. Uh, I, I, I got I it. I. I gotta find one of those. <laughs> yeah, I gotta find one of those too. You know? <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, yeah, I like it. Yeah, I I hope you enjoy it. Yeah, I yeah. enjoy it tomorrow. I that's, enjoy. It. That's great. That's good. Yeah. yeah. What, what is your, what is your love name? Um. Elisa. Oh, Elisa. Oh, all right. Oh, Elisa. that's nice. Elisa, like, like, right now. Really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah. That's, that's great. I, yeah. I like, yeah, that's the adventure. Is it, is, it, is it an adventure or yes? Or really? No. Or, a real engagement? Yeah, I got almost three years with her. Oh, oh wow. Wow. it's a long time, <laughs> yeah. it, is, it is. It is a long time already. Yeah, yeah it might. Yeah, it might be some some deep roots already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's great. Yeah, where do, where where does she live? Uh, she lives with me. Oh, she. Oh, she, you, you you live together. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's great, yeah. In the meantime, I live by myself. All right. Yeah, I live by myself. Right. No, yeah. no wife, no children. No, 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 not at all. Yeah, no, no, my, 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 I, I, I have one son, two daughters. They are already grown up. I, okay. I, they, they made me, they, they made me already grand, uh, grandpa and great grandpa too. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Yeah, yes, yeah. so, you know, my, my, my grandkids, I, they are like uh, five years old. Oh, wow. Already. Yeah, well, both of them are. And then there's not much difference. 
on, on edge, just like a couple months, the, the, the difference. But uh, they're pretty, pretty, pretty girls. I, I, I love them. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, well, yeah, one is one is from my, my, my granddaughter, another one is from my grandson. Yeah. yeah but, oh. but I love them. I love it. Yeah, I miss them. Okay. Okay. I miss them too. Yes, yes. You know, it's the, the family is getting bigger. Bigger and bigger. Yeah. Yeah. That's yes. the thing. So the first thing we're going to do is I see we have Jose and Elena, and we're going to take a moment. We're going to make uh, partners and we're going to discuss it. how is your tradition? What do you normally do for Independence Day? Do you go to the parades? Do you see the military? Do you go to the stadium? Do you have um, a special lunch or a barbecue? Do you go to the beach? And then we're also going to talk about what are you going to do? So one, the tradition, what do you do normally? And two, what are you going to do tomorrow? So with our, yeah. this is the yeah. main idea. We're going to ask questions. We're going to talk about it and find out what do we do and what are we going to do? Yeah, yeah, that's a, that's a great topic. That's a All great right. topic. Yes, Let's I try like it. it. Let's All right. begin. Let's try it then. Okay. Who's going to be my partner? Uh, Jose. Jose is going to be your partner, Helio. Hi, I'm Chris Brooks. Welcome to Travel World. Have you ever traveled to a country with a completely different culture? If you have, you probably know what culture shock is. It's a feeling of confusion you get from suddenly being in a new environment. The traditions and customs may seem strange. Expectations are different. You don't know exactly what you're supposed to do. You may even be a little bit afraid of making a mistake. In time, you get used to everything. But when you get home, you often have some interesting and perhaps humorous stories to tell about your cross-cultural experiences. Today, we're going to Latin America to meet some people who've traveled abroad and hear about their experiences crossing cultures. First, Let's go to Brazil. Ah, yes, Rio de Janeiro. Enjoying a spectacular view of Sugarloaf Mountain is our lucky reporter, Fatima Nolan. Hi, Chris. I'm here in beautiful Rio de Janeiro. Like everywhere else in the world, people here like to travel abroad and have some interesting stories to tell. Let's talk with some of them. What's your name and where are you from? My name is Camilla and I was born in Stockholm, Sweden, but I moved to Rio when I was four and I've lived here ever since. Two years ago I went to Sweden and I lived there for a year. What did you notice that was different? Well, the first thing that I noticed when I got to Sweden was how people greet each other it was completely different because here in Brazil we kiss on the cheek and they shake hands so I went to kiss like and they oh my goodness what's going on and they felt like you're invading my space or something like that it was strange <laughs> this is Fatima Nolan from Rio de Janeiro back to you Chris thanks Fatima now, let's cross the South American continent to Lima, Peru, where our reporter Denise Oregui is standing by. Denise? Thanks, Chris. We're here at the beautiful Plaza de Armas. This is a favorite spot for tourists and the people of Lima. 
Let's talk to some people here about their cross-cultural experiences. Hey, what's your name and where are you from? My name's Andrew and I'm from the United States. Have you noticed any difference in the way people do things here in Peru? Yeah, one thing that I've really noticed is the public transportation system is really different. Because here, the bus system is private, and so there's all these people trying to get you on their bus because the way they make money is by getting as many people as possible to get on their bus. So the whole time, they're yelling, get on my bus, get on my bus, and sometimes it's not the bus that you want to be getting on. This is Denise Arregui here in Lima, Peru. Back to you, Chris. Thank you, Denise. Now reporter Hillary Garcia is standing by in Mexico, our final destination for today. What do you have for us, Hillary? Thanks, Chris. I'm here in beautiful Tepoztlan, Mexico, a town that both Mexican and foreign tourists like to visit. Let's talk with a few of them about their cross-cultural experiences. What's your name and where are you from? My name is Delfino Valdez and I was born and raised in Mexico and now I live in the United States. Tell us about your cross-cultural experience. I am married to an American woman and she was making me lunch one day and she brought me a soup and a sandwich. Once I was done with it, I said, okay, honey, where's the rest of it? And she said, that was it. Well, it is customary in my culture to have a huge meal in the middle of the day with the beans, the rice, the meat. So needless to say, I was very surprised. This is Hillary Garcia in Tepoztlan, Mexico. Back to you, Chris. Until next time, this is Chris Brooks for Travel World, bidding you bon voyage. About what would you be anxious about? What would you be comfortable with? And try to give as many responses. Would you be enthusiastic about making new friends. By the end of this class, you'll be able to use noun phrases which contain relative clauses in order to express your ideas when it comes to traveling. So let me present some structure at this particular moment. What we're going to try to do is we're going to try to make sense of these noun phrases which contain relative clauses. Um, first, we'll start talking a little bit about how we use this as the subject. And then we'll move into the object, probably the object, I'll separate this into a different lecture. So uh, in order to form this kind of um, expressions, first we're going to have a subject. So in this case, this subject becomes one thing. Uh, then this is followed by a relative clause, I really miss. And then we're going to have the uh, verb to be. Uh, in this case, as you can see, is the verb to be is. And then that's followed by um, an object or a phrase, if you will. So let's write that specific sentence down, and then we're going to try to make sense of it, as I mentioned. So let me do that at this point. Okay. All right. So as I mentioned, uh, one thing, sorry, one thing becomes the subject of the sentence. I've I've colored that in green so we can uh, see the difference between what's a verb and what's a what's a uh, what's a subject, what's a relative clause, what's a verb, and what's the object of this particular idea. Then this is followed by the relative clause. I, I colored this in blue so you can see what, what I'm referring to as a relative clause. And then the verb to be. Now the verb to be needs to match with the subject, if you will. So if the subject uh, were to be plural, then this should change to are. Um, and then it's followed by the object of the sentence. So in this case, my mom's cooking is the object of the sentence. What we're going to do right now is we're going to include a lot of uh, relative clauses uh, so that you can see that uh, this topic could, it can become a little bit confusing. But if we understand uh, this structure, it, it shouldn't be difficult to complete. So let me include um, lots of relative clauses. All right. And what we're going to do is we're going to try to make sense of it, but we're going to try to uh, make different sentences with them. All right. So um, I mentioned one thing. Um, you could you could express this idea by saying something, 
right? Uh, you could also say two people, or you can say two things, or you can say uh, two things that I miss would be, and then you mention what those things are. Um, but um, let's try to make sense of it here. Um, so one thing I really miss is my mom's cooking. So I've included uh, a few relative clauses. And let me get you to answer this by me asking the question. So what would you be nervous about when traveling to another country? What would you be anxious about? What would you be comfortable with? What would you be curious about? What would you be enthusiastic about? What would you be fascinated by? Um, let's say that we choose the country, uh, maybe France, all right? So France seems like a very touristic place. And I think that a lot of people would like to travel to this particular country. So let's do that second one. One thing I'd be nervous about is, all right, that's going to follow the bird to be. And maybe for me is getting lost, all right? Uh, let me try to keep the format a little bit because I want you to notice that we have one thing is the noun, uh, the relative clauses I'd be nervous about. Then this is followed by the bird to be. And then this will be followed by the object of the sentence. Okay, so for me, one thing I really be nervous about, or one thing I'd be nervous about is getting lost. One thing I'd be anxious about is getting to know this new city. One thing I'd be comfortable with is the weather. Okay, Elena, tell me, what did you learn about your partner? Uh, I, I didn't listen to you. Sorry, sorry, my microphone is off. Okay, okay. My, uh, my partners was Roxana and Edwin. In in case of Roxana, she didn't she didn't like uh, parade in before, it. o sea, like uh, participate, don't like it. And for tomorrow, she wants to rest in the day. <laughs> yeah. And in in the case of Edwin, in the past, when he studied at the school. Is, uh, he like it go to the march in the parade All and right. most like it saw the cachiporros the cheerleaders oh, <laughs> All right. in the stadium huh in the stadium, yeah. stadium yes stadium. Um, for tomorrow uh, he plans to uh, cook a barbecue and stay with the family at home <laughs> okay all right Nice, very nice. Roxana, what about Elena? What is Elena going to do tomorrow? Oh, she said to me she is going to to stay at home because she wants to relax. Maybe. Oh, okay. yes. right. <laughs> and, and Edwin, <laughs> what does what does Elena do normally? What did she do before? Oh, uh, I remember uh, she watched the, the parade with her mother on the television. And because her mother liked to watch uh, uh, the band of the, I don't remember the name of the school, in, in Frame? In Frame. In Frame. <laughs> yeah. My mother always like watch the Frame band. <laughs> it's a, everything in the house is a stop it because it's the moment for the Frame band. <laughs> Did your mom go to Inframe, Elena? No, my mother studied in the Normal España. Ah. Yes. All right. She likes some framen. I don't know. It may because uh, she said is uh, I like the discipline, 
discipline mm -hmm. for that girls and boys and the admir admires the the hours to spend practice and it's like to admiration for that the young people to do something like that okay okay I, and the other things is, uh, is like I I think it's uh, it's like oh uh, is the is this the uh, the spirit of the teachers <laughs> something like that. <laughs> okay, okay, good. Helio, what did Jose say? Well, Jose say he 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 doesn't take day off because he has to work. He says like a regular oh. day. Maybe what he says because uh, I really don't know what the, what the, his job policy. So, hey, unfortunately, I have to work. Yeah, that, 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 that's right. Because they say he, he has to work. And I see, and ask him if he gets the double pay. He said, no. Well, you know, because regular, regularly, when it is extra time, when yeah, extra time work, he, he has the right to ask for double payment. Yeah, it's his right. Double payment. But, uh, but uh, some, sometimes the bosses in, in our country, they take advantage of, of all of us. You know, mm -hmm. They need it, all of us. So well, 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 what we do, yeah, yeah, he has to take the, the regular day and work. It was, it was he said, so he, he is uh, what the, he wants to work. And what does Jose do, Helio? Did he? Did you? Did you ask him what is his job? Well, I'm sorry. Did you ask Jose what is his job? Why he has to work? Oh, oh, oh no, no, I, 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 I didn't, I didn't, I didn't ask him what, what he job about. But I remember what, once he told me that he worked as a, in a motorcycle. Or, Drive for a company, but I really don't remember what 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 the business is about. Okay. Yeah, but no problem. Okay. Jose, what did he? Yeah. And, and and what is your job, Jose? I working in a private company about um sales use out of parts. Mm -hmm. uh, first, uh, we have to buy in the U.S. a scratch vehicle. I'm the person who coordinate for pick up this crash vehicle from the auction, deliver it to the private yard. It's not out, but we have a, a person there that will receive the this crash vehicle. And then we receive here at the custom to pay the taxes and just sell here. I resolve any issues for paper, for payments, um, I did. Usually, I do many different things, but it is like a logistic person. And you have to work tomorrow, Jose. Yes, as as always, as a, every day, I have to work tomorrow. <laughs> I don't know why, because, because I know there is a is a free day for almost everyone, but. Uh, we have a client that when he has time, uh, he visits us to resolve any issue of her vehicle. So I'm going to have tomorrow a lot of job. Okay. A lot it's of work. Probably, it's, pro it's probably that we want to leave my job. I don't know. I'm not sure, but could be on 2 p.m. or 3 p.m. like that. Uh, okay. The normal schedule is to six, from A to six. Ah, okay, okay. And what did Helio say, Jose? What is Helio going to do tomorrow? Uh, he said um, he gonna he gonna has a free day and just um, wake up a lot, like a normal day in the morning, take a shower or something like that, and just. Stay at home. Okay. That's it, Helio. Only staying at home, sleeping, eating, relaxing. Yeah, it's uh, just <laughs> sleeping, drinking coffee, something like that, he said. 
Okay, all right. Well, good, good. Thank you guys for sharing. That's important. It's great that we're going on. Uh, it's good to have plans for tomorrow to relax and also enjoy the day. But Jose, too bad you have to work. <laughs> it's a uh, it's a life, right? You have to make the money. So that's yeah. Mm -hmm. You have to make. What about business. you, teacher? I I'm going to. I have to do a lot of homework for the university, but it's good because do you study at the university. Yes, yes, yes. I have to do, I am going to do, uh, take advantage of the day and advance with my homework. That way I don't have to do so much homework the other days and do and my- wha And what, what is your, uh, your mayor? That A business administration. That you... Oh. Mm -hmm. That's great. Yeah, but I almost okay. finished five more classes, five oh, really? classes and I graduate. Oh, really? really? Yes. Cool. Congratulations. Congrats. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. So, ah, yeah. Uh, yeah, like a leg day. So, for example, after this class at night, normally after the class with you guys, when I upload the video, I do homework and then, oh, then really? I sleep. And then, like this, that's how I, I use my day. Little. What I, what I time do I do my Mm -hmm. But the, do you go to bed? Today, tomorrow is a free day. Today, I'm not going to do homework today. Only I finish the class, I go to sleep early, okay. and I relax. And then tomorrow I you do the homework. I don't have to worry to today. You have to kick back. Yes. That's, That's the good thing. All right. Yeah, Before we continue, do you have any questions about the platform? Any exercises or problems that you have, or maybe some exercise that you couldn't complete? In my case, no, because no. I, I have. I remember finished. you finished. Yes, exactly. I. But I have a question. Yes, Roxana. About the the next module. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's you investigate with with the yes with jonathan yeah. he answered jonathan an email uh, uh, sent me a message that he said that last week they sent an email last week they sent an email to your human resource and the human resource already is informed for the next module uh the next week no 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 last week the last week, last week. they sent they sent already the information to record about for the people that participated in the in the next, in the next group yes oh i we don't have opportunity no i i told jonathan he said that to to tell you to check with the human resource because the human resource already has the information teacher but i don't understand oh. in the que ya la semana pasada mandaron el correo a recursos humanos. Teacher, but no, not everyone is stay in the course by a company. Uh -huh. yeah, only uh, others is only for the INSA form. It's like a, a, I don't know, what do you say, beca? Scholarship. A scholarship, yes. But it's not working in a, uh, in an enterprise. But the scholarship is with the Recursos Humanos. I think it is a both options. Mm -hmm. With the I scholarship. Rem I um, sorry, I remember in the last modules, uh, they send the information two weeks uh, before. before I before the the before that we finish the yeah. the this pre this module yes for example but when when they uh, not include people is the reason is they don't have enough uh, or they don't have a that my elena said uh, oh, becas for for uh, for us uh, because we don't pay. I don't pay. No, no, nobody pays. I think only only pays, I think. 
And the others is scholarships. I received an email five days ago uh -huh. that said um, to participate in the English program, but it's a model presential, 100%. Oh, really? Yeah, I, I just received uh... that email and I can to be a present, right? Uh, so I don't know if this email that we're gonna receive for everybody or just, I, I, I don't know. I don't know because, I, I, let me check here. I have the message from Jonathan, hang on. Because, I, because you asked yesterday and I, I checked, hang on. I tell you in one moment. Um, Okay. Um, okay. Eh, la semana pasada notificamos a recursos humanos de todos los alumnos que las empresas les brindan el apoyo realizando todo el proceso de documentación. A todos se les coloca en copia con recursos humanos para que estén sabedores del proceso de inscripción. So he said that he, the, this is the, uh -huh, this was from the last week. Uh-huh. There's the email, let's see. Uh, no, I didn't receive anything. Uh -huh. And uh -huh. I check my, my Gmail my Gmail account and I don't have a message about for about that. Okay. Only a message about uh, it said the the message said uh your your advanced I think, English I think is, this, this email if, is a different program, Roxana. Uh, if you can see the title, it's a uh, para el trabajo modalidad presencial. I, I don't know why I received this email, but I just received this one. Uh -huh. I don't have the other one. No. Hang on. I'm going to put in this moment in our chat. That way you can. Uh, uh, hang on. This is. Let me put the number for Jonathan. Okay. So you can write to Jonathan in case you don't have. And also I'm going to put in the uh, the other person I think is, the other one that is responsible is Elena. And that way you can, you can check because they said that already, they told the human resource and that way you have the idea. Yeah, what's going to happen or, or not happen? Mm. Teacher, es que en los módulos anteriores, uh -huh. ellos cuando no vamos a participar nos avisan y nos dicen si hay o no hay becas disponibles. Esta vez yo no recibí ningún mensaje de ese tipo. Ni, ni si habían o no habían o si quiero yo participar pagando un porcentaje porque la otra vez que no habían becas nos dijeron que si queríamos continuar y no cortar y no esperar hasta que hayan becas que si podíamos pagar, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Entonces yo recuerdo que teníamos que esperar no sé cuánto tiempo, uno o dos meses, un mes creo no me acuerdo cuánto esperamos, entonces luego abren y nos vuelven a incluir. Pero esta vez no nos avisaron nada de, no nos han avisado nada, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Acerca de eso. Yo no he recibido ningún mensaje ni en WhatsApp con los contactos que yo tengo con Jason, en, que por lo general él es el que me informa la mayoría de veces, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Eh, no he recibido ningún mensaje si, si voy a continuar o si puedo o no, o, o si necesito llenar el formulario para el siguiente módulo. Como avisaban dos semanas antes de terminar ese módulo, avisaban y mandaban a decir que llenar, comenzamos a llenar el formulario 
y que sí habíamos terminado el trabajo en la plataforma y todo eso, pero esta vez yo no he recibido nada. El último mensaje que tengo es de cuando me anularon el, el recuerda que yo le comenté de que tenía dos, dos módulos activados, do, dos este, plataformas. Eso de, pasó con todo. El avanzado. Bastante. Ajá, entonces el, el último mensaje que recibí fue ese que me habían anulado, dice ahí uno, me imagino que por eso me enviaron el mensaje. Bien. Y ya no me apareció, ¿verdad? Eh? Porque me aparecía el mismo curso dos veces. Okay. Y ya luego en WhatsApp ni he, no he recibido ningún otro. Por eso mm -hmm. es que es mi duda, porque a, a veces nos avisan, ¿verdad? Pero esta vez no nos dijeron nada. Sí, por eso puse eh, nuevamente el número de Jonathan y de Elena para que eh, mejor se contacten directo, mándenle ellos igual no le van a contestar mañana porque mañana no van a trabajar, pero manden el mensaje para que ya a primera hora que lleguen ellos el, el jueves, eh, ya saben ellos que, cuál es la duda. Como le mencioné, yo ya le pregunté y me dijeron que ellos, lo que le, lo que le leí, que yo antes me contestó que él ya había mandado toda la información a las, a las áreas de recursos humanos para los que tenían apoyo de, de las empresas. Y que tenía que contactarse con recursos humanos para poder llenar los formularios o recursos humanos que se estaban encargando de hacer eso. Pero como menciona Elena, no todos están eh, con una empresa. Hay algunos que eh, por beca por otro medio o algo así. Entonces, ahí sí no, no sé cómo, cómo va a funcionar eh, o oh. si hay becas o algo, porque sí. Yo sé que a veces eh, simplemente las becas se acaban o, o sea, el dinero de, de Insaport no es suficiente. Entonces dicen, tienen que esperar un, un módulo, tienen que esperar dos módulos y dependiendo. Sí. Uh -huh. Entonces mejor eh, eh, mándele el mensaje. Igual, el mismo mensaje lo puede mandar a Jonathan y solo lo re reenvía a Elena. Pero por lo menos ya, ya saben que ellos están informados porque como dice José, él desde la semana pasada ya había recibido ese correo, pero era para presencial. Entonces, no sé, no sé oh. si, si están tratando de, de cambiarlos a que vayan presencial o no. Lo dudo porque son dos diferentes programas. Entonces, sí. Uh -huh. no sé qué sería. sí, y yo recuerdo que el presencial, yo recuerdo que es solo pagado. Uh, Según alguien preguntó la otra vez. Ok. Eh, dijeron que era, era diferente. Al, alguien preguntó, parece, en la reunión informativa. No recuerdo exactamente qué es lo que ella les contestó, pero algo así entendí, medio recuerdo, que él dijo de que era otro programa y creo que era solo para la gente de, de alguna empresa, creo. Ok, ok. Sí, entonces, lo, como le digo, lo mejor es escríbele a Jonathan o a Elena, porque ellos son los que manejan toda esa información, eh, cuanto a becas, eh, disponibilidad, cuando inician el siguiente curso. Eh, eh, incluso puede decir, como usted dice, usted revisó su correo y no estaba ahí, tal vez. Entonces, eh, para que actualizar los datos o tal vez no la incluyeron en el correo para ver qué pasó, es mejor hablar con ellos directamente. Ok. Uh -huh. Y le puede mandar el mensaje, pero si tiene disponibilidad o si tiene oportunidad el jueves, es mejor marcarles para que así ya vean que uno o sea, le interesa, porque eh, muchas veces hay fecha límite y después cuando uno se pasa de esa fecha límite, ya igual no puede inscribirse. Entonces, puede ser que sí le mandaron la información, pero se equivocaron a la hora de mandarle el correo y eh, por eso nunca lo recibió. Ajá, podría ser. Uh -huh. okay. Gracias, teacher. You're welcome. You're welcome. All right, guys. Great question. Right. It's very yeah, important. Question. Yes, Helio. What is the due date for, for uh, this trip? Helio, it, it, it's not clear what you say. Yes. Yeah. Uh, what is the due date? ¿Alguien escucha a Helio? No. I can listen. No, no, no Helio. Teacher. No, no te escuchamos, Helio. Okay. 
Eight. No, Helio, I, I don't listen. Susana o, o Edwin, escuchan a Helio. No. No, teacher. Helio. We don't listen to you. No, sorry, Anything. Helio. We don't hear, we don't listen to you, Helio. So sorry, Helio, but no, I don't hear anything, Helio. I hear that he has a bad connection. Yeah, Jose is correct. Bad connection, Helio, because I can hear some sound, but it's only like one moment, one one sound, and then the space. Okay. No, nothing help you. Better put your question in the chat. Write your question in the chat. Okay. That way we are clear. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, anybody else have any uh, questions? Helio's going to put his question in the chat, but for the others, for the platform or information or anything else, have any questions? I don't have more questions. No? Okay. Edwin? No, it's okay. No okay. Elena? No, teacher, I don't have questions. Yeah. I tried to move this pillow. Okay. And Jose? No. No? Okay. Don't worry, Edwin. You put the question in the chat. When you put, we yeah. relax. Okay, guys. Good. Well, okay. Let's advance a little bit more then. And let's make sure. So we're talking about our plans, our activities, the things that we have. Also, remember that this is part of unit five. How does this work? Because in unit five, if we remember, we had relative clauses. And this is when you talk about something. So for example, the things that you like, the things that you love, or that you have a feeling for. You use one thing, one thing I'd miss, one thing I'd love, one thing I'd be nervous about. All of those things that you are imagining that situation, okay? So imagine, Roxana, you have the opportunity to go to the United States, to live in Canada, Edwin. Maybe Elena go to Australia. Ah, then this is the imagination. What do you imagine about, what do you think about it, Salvador? Maybe, maybe for me, one thing I would miss is my friends in El Salvador. Right? Or maybe for you, maybe you say, ah, one thing I would miss is uh, la, the pupusas. Ah, okay, when will be the due date for the next module? Good question, El Helio. Uh, okay, can you hear me now? Yes, a little bit. Right, that, that, that was my question. Okay, Helio. So uh, we finish this, we finished the module on Monday. Normally, you have to have the due date, the documents, the, before we finish. So I, yes, it's before we finish that you need to have all of the documents. Mm -hmm. I didn't get the email, but uh, my recommendation is get the documents and everything as soon as possible. Because you need the sign, the signature from human resource or from the other or uh, whatever it is. So uh -huh. in the email or, or in the information that Jonathan sent me, they don't have anything about the dates of when to begin the next module or the dates about uh, any information, really. So, oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I, I was told that it, it would be around September 27th. Yes, usually when we finish the module, there is one week for break 
one week for relax, and then the week after, we begin again. Oh, all right. Okay. Mm -hmm. so it might it might be uh, it might be uh, next Monday to do a date. The last day for this for this class is Monday the twentieth. Monday the twentieth is the last day. So probably the new module, the new class, is Monday the twenty seventh or Tuesday the twenty eighth. Okay, okay, but we 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 going to have class on Monday. Yes, Monday, yes. All right, okay, yeah. I, I, I so. Tomorrow, no class, but Monday, yes. Monday, okay, all right. I think I, I have three days in a row in order to yes. submit my yes, you have Yes, you imagine you have three days for the documents. Mm -hmm. For the documents, yeah, that's right. Okay, mm -hmm. I'm going to do my best in order to get some paper. Okay, okay, hell, good. Okay. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. All right, guys. So <laughs> going back, good. All right. So let's continue. We're looking at the things. So think about if you have the opportunity to travel, to go. Hey, imagine now you are in the United States, you are in Canada, in Italy, Europe, whatever country you want to go to. How do you imagine? What do you mean? You, what, what do you think is going to be like in the other country? What do you miss about it, Salvador? I want to visit Paris, for example. Uh, I like Paris. To, yes, I, I like to visit the museum Louvre. Louvre museum. The Louvre. The Louvre. Louvre, Louvre museum. Okay, wait, uh, wait, 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 wait. So yes, the is. the way to say it is one thing I like to see, one thing I'd like to visit, one thing I want to visit. This is how we use it. It's okay, okay, okay. With wood, remember, because you are imagining the situation. You are imagining. Okay, I one thing I be like is visit Paris, and the thing I'm missing in from my from Salvador is a pupusas. <laughs> <laughs> Revueltas. <laughs> yes, yes, uh, uh, only chicharrón con queso. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right, good. And you, Edwin, what country do you imagine you visit? What, where would you like to go? Uh, I already stay in the United States, a little 10 years right there. How, oh. how much? Edwin, how much time were you in the United States? 10 years. 10 years? Yeah. And when I was there, um, I miss uh, my, my mom. Mm -hmm. um, my, my city. And I miss like the beach. The beach, yeah. Okay. Uy. Uh, hello. It's very soft. Uh, uh, in the Pilsen are beer. Do <laughs> <laughs> <So> you miss? <laughs> <laughs> the skill leaders too. <laughs> exactly. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Edwin How do you say? Edwin se ha sonrojado. Sonrojado. ¿Qué es el cojito? What is that in English? Blush. Blush. Mm -hmm. His face blushes. Yes, yes. Hey, okay. hey, and Edwin, in what city were you in the United States? Where did you live? Uh, I live in LA, downtown. Okay. Uh, this is, is good and bad. Yeah. The bad is because in LA, a lot of Hispanics, so a lot, a lot of them, yeah, not necessary to speak English. No, it's a 
lot of Chinese, Mexican. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of Chicanos. Chicanos, yeah. Yeah. They, they usually Spanish, Spanish names. Yeah, uh -huh. a lot of Spanish. Hey, watchame, watchame why I go to and then. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Spanish. This is the yes, this is the Spanish, it's true. Yeah. English and the Spanish. Mm -hmm. All right. Roxana, what about you? What country do you imagine you would like to visit and go and see? Um, I would like to visit the UK. UK? Yeah, the UK, correct. Yeah, because um, I, I like how English sounds with the people, Britain people. Mm -hmm. and, and when I watched videos on, on YouTube about Britain people, I like to listen to them. And I would like to visit that country. And I think if I have opportunity to, to visit, and I think I could improve my English skill. And it's better for you to learn another language in other country, not in the your native language. Mm -hmm. It's true. It's true. When you learn the other country, not only is the language, is the culture, you learn the culture, the ideas, the expressions, not only the vocabulary, because you can learn the vocabulary in books, but then you understand the culture, how to use. Okay. Helio, what about you? What country would you like to visit? Well, first of all, I think Hi, Helio. I'm so sorry you have I, a connection. Yeah, I go like to go there and visit them. I had a visit them for long. I yearn for But I just see my dreams. Okay. Side. Uh, I know there's another country, but I is not clear. Your voice is very, uh, is one word or one sentence? Or... Oh, really? Uh huh, it's a bad, very bad connection today, Helio. Okay. Jose, what about you? What country would you like to visit, Jose? I would like to be said uh, Russia. Russia? Wow. Yeah. I would like to know something more about the special force. Oh, wow. that I know there is the name yeah, Spetsnaz, something like that. Yeah. And it's supposed yeah. that is the best special force yeah. for the world. Yeah. I don't oh, know. Uh, I would like to, oh. to see how they can train about it. About, just to know about the military service of Russia. Okay. Okay. Yes, it's true. The Russians were the first to go to the space. They had the, first, the idea from space, right? Yeah. Okay. Interesting. Well, this is how we use the I would, right? This is the concept for for using I would, I'd like to, I think about the I would, I'd like to, I think about the difference. Now, also remember that, also remember, one that, thing is the easy way to use it. One thing is the easy way to use it. Other words. Yeah. Other words. Yeah. We can use other words like something, two people, the thing, uh, many other different words. The important is that you express what you like, what you don't like and you express how to use it, right? That we're talking about it, okay? So for example, you say, Edwin, I see Edwin has the shirt of El Salvador, right? 
Salvadorian shirt. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So we can use this in different forms. So. As an example, one thing I am proud of is, and then you can say, ah, my, uh, the soccer team. One thing I am proud of is uh, El Salvador's beach soccer team. Or one thing I am proud of is my work or my job, whatever, one thing I am happy about. So always we use it to describe your emotions, your feelings, okay? Whether good or bad, but it's describe your ideas, your emotions. It's okay. So thank yes, teacher. Good. So Roxana, for tomorrow, what is one thing that you want to do? One thing you would like to do tomorrow? Uh, one thing that I would like to do is um, sleep. <laughs> It's to sleep <laughs> and only this is good life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I am today I am really tired and I would like for tomorrow. I would like to one thing that I would like to do is uh, is uh, why why uh, get up late. Okay, is to get up late. Ah, uh, and is possible, Roxana, or is not possible for you to wake up late tomorrow? No, because my mother, I need to prepare my, my the breakfast for my mother, and she uh, goes. She is going to 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 work at um at the market, uh, very early, uh -huh. and yes yeah then it's not possible okay it's not possible mm -hmm. okay and you edwin what is one thing you'd like to do tomorrow one thing i would like doing tomorrow is make the barbecue and take a little bit um time to sleep and enjoy enjoy time to what edwin a little bit of time too is because uh, it's far from your mouth the, the microphone is it's a little soft and the one now it's clear try again one thing I, yes one, one thing, thing i will i would like to do it tomorrow is um, like i say is like cooking a barbecue and try to relax and enjoy the independence day. Okay, okay, good. And you, Elena? For tomorrow, I think I want is uh, stay at home with my family and enjoy together the day. Okay. And in your home, you're going to watch Netflix, uh, movies or only sleep like Roxana wants to. <laughs> well, I want to sleep, but, but with two little girls, it's impossible. <laughs> it's impossible. It's impossible with two girls. Uh, I think uh, we watch uh, 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 movies, maybe. Uh, I think it's maybe we watch uh, a movie. Is that, I, I don't remember the name. Is the is an adventure to the family. In my case, I usually see, I usually watch the movies before because I check the content of the movie for my oh. little girls. <laughs> um, okay. In this case, I, I watch a movie from a family. It's a history. It's, not, it's not like adventure, but it's a comic. It's, 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 it's interesting. Maybe tomorrow, I watched that movie with the, the little one. Okay, okay, good, good. Well, guys, I hope Helio, Jose, also you guys can enjoy Roxanne and Edwin. 
And Elena, you enjoy your day tomorrow. Remember, tomorrow, no class, but Thursday, yes. Thursday, we have- And Friday. Thursday, oh, Thursday. Thursday, Friday, no. And Monday, Saturday, yes. the next Monday. Correct. So oh, two, more, two more classes, Thursday and Monday. Thursday. And Monday. Uh, okay. Two more classes, yeah. All right, okay. guys. Have a great night and enjoy tomorrow. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, you guys. Bye bye. Take bye. care. See you. See you. Bye. Good night, everybody. Bye. Goodbye. Good night. Good night.